After we left the mystical Yakushima Island, we continued our journey to the heart of Kyushu, Mount Aso. A trip to Kyushu will not be complete without visiting popular spots around Mount Aso. So, join us as we visit them before winding down at one of Japan's most attractive hot spring town, Kurokawa Onsen. First up, a shrine with a very long name that is known for its moss-covered stone path. People say that if you have limited time at Mount Aso and can only visit one shrine, pick the one that has the longest name. Behind the shrine, there's actually an arch. It's believed that when you walk through the arch, you will have your dream come true. You want to select a good time to visit this shrine is either after the rain because the moss will be a bit shiny or in the early morning they say that the sunlight will go through the archway then mm. you will get a very nice view We are just done hiking up the shrine and the moss covered stone path is really nice. To access the archway behind the shrine, there's also a small hike up. The slope is actually a little bit steep, but you know us, we have already done the hike at Yakushima Island, so... We will be heading to our next location. See you when we get there. Behind us is the Kusasenri Plains. They probably came at the wrong season. It's supposed to be green and there's a pond in the centre but it doesn't seem to be any look really barren. <laughs> On the other side, you can see that there's a smoking crater. That is the Nakadake Crater. We'll probably spend a bit more time here. We will walk through the Kusasenri Plains and be a little bit closer to the Nakadake Crater. Mm. We will see you when we are done. We are just done visiting the Kusasenri Plateau and based on the season, it's different. In spring, you can see flower fields. In summer, it will be the iconic green pastures. Autumn is going to be what like you will a, see, in, yeah, our you see in our video here. It's not that it's not nice, but I guess both of us prefer the green fields. I think good and bad because now it's quite sunny already. But if we come during summer, I can't imagine how yeah, hot be really, it will be. Really hot. So now we'll be heading off to our next area. But first, we will try to see if we can get into one of the restaurants Bonnie found. Allegedly, the best aso beef <laughs> done. With the most review and the uh, highest rating in Google. Based on the review, I think people wait for upwards 3 hours, which I don't think we have that much time. So, if you do not know which is the actual store and in the area, don't worry, there will be a huge crowd right outside. So the current queue is 56 and when we took the queue number, it was 121. While we were standing there, there was one person who ordered takeout. So we decided to order takeout and we only need to wait about 20 minutes to get our food. So now, the legendary aso beef and allegedly the best aso beef you can eat here at Mount Aso. Let me have a taste. This beef bowl costs us 1,860 yen. They have quite a lot of beef slices and they are thick and chewy and soft. Mm, try one. I'm not sure whether it's the seasoning of the beef or the beef itself. It got a slight soury taste. It's good. Mm, it's really good. Let me have a bite of the beef with the egg and with the rice. <gasps> Heaven! Mm. Be sure to come here if you are at Mount Aso and order takeout if you don't want to wait. After we are done having lunch, we will be going to another observatory. We will see you there. We 
we are now at Daikambu viewpoint and the view is stunning. It's definitely worth the trip up even on a gloomy weather like this is still pretty nice. From the notice board they mentioned that this observatory point has five main mountain peaks and all of the five they actually combined and made a lying Buddha. It's really cold outside. And we are having ice cream. So now I shall try the Aso milk, another one of the specialty. Apparently they rare cows here, but we never seen any cows hey. while we were here. Roadside. Is it? Yeah. She saw a cow, I didn't see any. Okay, and so now the taste test of the Aso milk. It's not milk. Huh? It's, it's yogurt. <laughs> But it's really nice. John is a person that don't drink yogurt. Mm. If he drank the second time means it's mm. quite good. It's a bit sour. I think they didn't add a lot of sugar. But it's good. The ice cream is really good. It is very milky. It's a little bit sweet but it's okay. Not to be missed. Buy combo viewpoint. Buy the ice cream. Buy the yogurt. Yeah, so we'll be driving to Kurokawa Onsen. Kurokawa Onsen is an onsen town and there's also things to see there. We have finally arrived at Kurokawa Onsen and we have booked the most expensive accommodation on our trip. Traditional and uh, with a relatively good view. We provided Yukata snacks, TV, two beds, small dining area, tea set, toilet. We will probably be heading to the street. I'm not sure if a lot of shops have already closed because now it's 5pm so hopefully they close at 6. Ready to head for the onsen. We brought a tower and a smaller tower. Mm. Our first onsen in this Raikan. Yay! It's very relaxing to have a cup of hot green tea after the onsen. It's very dangerous. Maybe sleep at the onsen? <laughs> go in the evening, one more time at night, and then in the morning. Mm.